Thank you. The Honourable Member for Fort McMurray Wood Buffalo, followed by Calgary Mountain View. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In October 2013, the dam storing tailings at the Obed Mountain Mine near Hinton failed. This became a significant concern to all of the residents of Wood Buffalo as a large dark plume of solid particulates travelled up the Athabasca River. While the regional municipality of Wood Buffalo shut off their intake valve on the water treatment plant as it entered the region, residents still feared for the quality of their drinking water. To the Minister of Environment and Sustainable Resource Development, while I know the Obed dam break is still under investigation by AER, what is being done by this government to, in the interim to ensure that the Athabasca or any other waterway will be protected from other potential spills? Honourable Minister. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Albertans care deeply about the uh, quality and quantity of wa their water resources. And after the Obed incident, uh, all coal mine dams were investigated to ensure that uh, they all had structural integrity. Uh, we are on an ongoing basis continuing to work with uh, cu the Cumulative Effects Management Association, stakeholders such as industry, Aboriginal groups and ENGOs to gather scientific uh, and traditional knowledge about uh, the watershed to ensure that the river and that watershed is safe for now and future, future generations. First supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, my next question is to the same minister. What has been learned from this dam break, and how is it being applied to oil sands tailings ponds containment? Honourable Minister. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, this serves as a reminder of the environmental risk associated with having tailings on our landscape. This is why uh, uh, we take the safety of dams uh, very seriously, and uh, Alberta was the first uh, jurisdiction to institute dam safety legislation. And, uh, Mr. Speaker, this is why we introduced the new tailings management framework uh, uh, last Friday uh, to make sure that we can reduce uh, the de and decrease the amount of tailings that are on our landscape moving into the future. Final supplemental. Thank you. Also to the Minister of ESRD, the reclamation of oil sands tailings continues to be a concern. How will the tailings management framework address tailings reduction and ensure that the appropriate cleanup occurs without cost to the taxpayer? Honourable Minister. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Existing, uh, uh, under the new tailings management framework, existing ponds uh, are, are to be remediated, uh, and we want to make sure that uh, we slow the, the growth of any new uh, tailings. Limits on uh, uh, new tailings will be uh, uh, in place, as well as there will re be requirements for the treatment of existing tailings on the landscape. There will be triggers and limits that are in place under the framework to drive escalating uh, regulatory <laughs> responses to ensure that there is proper cleanup of tailings. 